Hello, my name is Nathaniel Miller, and for my modern mathematician, I chose Jean-Pierre Serre. He was born in 1926 in Bages, France. His parents were both pharmacists. His mother had a love for mathematics. His father, his father was more of a chemistry buff, um, but he took after his mother, obviously. Uh, he married in August of 1948 and a year later had a daughter, Claudine. It's his only child. Um, his hobbies involve rock climbing, skiing, and table tennis. His educational background. From 1945 to 1948, he was in Lycée des Nimes and École Normale Supérieure. 1951, he received the doctorate from Sorbonne. From 54 to 56, he worked for the University of Nancy. In 1956, he became the chair of algebra and geometry at the Collège de France. He did that until he retired in 1994. During that span, from 1951 to 2011, he published 19 different texts that covered a variety of different mathematical topics. He is a well-decorated mathematician. These are just a few of the awards he has. In 1954, he was awarded the Fields Medal at the International Congress of Math Mathematics. In 73, he became an honorary member of the London Mathematical Society. Then in 74, he was inducted into the Royal Society of London. Uh, in 95, he was awarded the Steele Prize from the American Mathematical Society. In 2000, he was awarded the Wolf Prize. In 2003, Jean-Pierre Serre became the first ever recipient of the Abel Prize. Along with his awards, he's also got a good amount of honorary degrees from the University of Cambridge, Stockholm, Glasgow, Athens, Harvard, Durham, London, Oslo, Oxford, Bucharest, Barcelona, Madrid, and McGill. Now, the important part, his contributions to mathematics. His contributions to mathematics, they're not easy to explain. Um, they're a little bit more on the complicated side. I'm going to do my best because they are actually important, as you'll see with the next slide. So his, his, his major one would be Sarah's spectral sequence. Right on the right here, you have a few of the keywords that are used to explain this. Um, I'll just go over them real quick. Algebraic topology is a branch of mathematics that uses tools from abstract algebra to study topological spaces. Um, homological algebra is a branch of mathematics that studies homology in a general algebraic setting. What homology is, is a general way of associating a sequence of algebraic objects to other mathematical objects, such as topological spaces. Um, vibration is the generalization of the notion of a fiber bundle. It's a term used in topology. And a fiber bundle uh, it's defined as a space that is locally a product space, but globally may have a different topological structure. Um, but an easier way to look at a fiber bundle is if you look at the brush on the left, you notice how the handle and is the base space is a cylinder. Okay, and then the fibers or the brush the bristles they would be line segments so it's kind of got that that shape to it 
So his his the Sears spectral sequence it's an important tool in algebraic topology, okay? It expresses in the language of homological algebra the singular homology of the total space X of a Sears vibration in terms of the homology of the base space B and the fiber F. And he came up to this conclusion during his doctoral dissertation. The next thing, uh, sorry, the next, another, I should say, major contribution of his was the, it's called the Epsilon Conjecture. It, he proposed it, however, he didn't prove it. But it was later proven by Rivet. Um, Rivet. The if it states if the Galios representation associated with an elliptical curve has certain properties, then that curve cannot be modular. So the Galios representation. Well, the Galios module is a is also known as the G module. Uh, G being the Galios group of some extension of fields, okay? The term Galios representation, it's used when the G module is a vector space over a field or a free module over a ring, okay? Or it can be used as a synonym for G module. Now, by modular, what they're saying is it cannot put it cannot cannot overlap itself once it hits a certain value. So it'll like cycle back around. It cannot overlap on top of itself. That is what modular means in mathematics. The relevance of these two contributions are his spectral sequence deepened the understanding of our polynomial equations, like how the solutions of them. And it's used to find eff efficient error correcting codes and for public key cryptography so it goes with um the computer sciences and data infor data information and accessing is what he has like projected into the, the next air his epsilon conjecture that along with the Taniyama Shimura conjecture implies that implied that Fermat's last theorem was true. Then that those two were used by Andrew Wiles to provide the proof that Fermat's last theorem was true. Lastly, these are the list of the references I used. Um, and then looking up the information. And I hope you enjoyed.